Now we got to do this quick. I had to turn the air conditioner off or else you'd be, uh, listen to that. And it's I mean, hot as hell up here. But I wanted to, uh, show off some stuff that I got yesterday. Uh, got this for four bucks at Party City. I'm not quite sure. Um, they're, they cardboard cutouts. It's a 12 pack. But I mean, they're pretty dang neat. But I was thinking they're like, the backs might come off like decals or something. But no, they're actually cardboard um cutouts freddy krueger but they don't come with anything to prop them up so i'm not quite sure how i want to do that yet so if you have heard of these and know how maybe you're supposed to pin them up somewhere let me know help a brother out <laughs> yeah, man. I mean, these are really freaking cool. And it's, uh, obviously, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street, and then, uh, Friday the 13th, and then, uh, It Chapter 2. I think it's so damn cool. Jason Voorhees Tombstone. That looks like it could be the creature from the Black Lagoon or something there. Like webbed hands, but no. That's Freddy's glove. Welcome to Camp Crystal Lake. I like to put that right on the front door. And this one I like to come home, but uh, time to float. Um, bloody balloon there. And I'm not a big fan of the the new it. I haven't seen chapter two. The Chapter 1 was alright, is better than I thought it was going to be, but I still like the original best. I swear if it isn't dead, if it comes back, we come back too. That's pretty cool. And on one of these, I kind of started to mess it up a bit. Like I said, I'm not a big fan of it. So I wanted to see how it's this one after this. Uh, see if it was like a decal or something. And no, uh, it's straight cardboard stuff. Come home. Although that is cool that they put the come home on the back. The losers. For the losers club. And this one had a balloon. That you can kind of see right there. I was trying to see if maybe it'd peel off of the sticky back. But no. Nope. So I'm not sure how you're supposed to set these up but i mean it's cool uh what we tried to leave in the past won't stay there sometimes it comes back so that's it for that one this next one is uh some comic books that i got horror of course what else would i get um they didn't have uh Number one, this is two of two, Steve Niles, Daniel Worm, or Daniel Worm, I don't know, the Grieveling. It looks sick. And I love, like, the, the artwork in it, too. And I'm not too much into Goosebumps anymore, but... Loved them when I was a kid, so of course I had to get Monsters at Midnight. 
that covers the there. And then these ones are, uh, the dude had said that they went to their warehouse and pulled out some uh, first issues from back in the day. And it's like, these are, so I got number one of three, Bad Kitty. And I remember uh, seeing this when I was a kid. I think I might have even had the issue when I was younger, but... And then these ones here, I about crapped my pants on. Because I never thought I'd ever see the day where I'd uh, get these. But I'm so glad I found them. Uh, Brink of Eternity. The official Brink Stevens comic book. Autograph pictures. And then, uh, where was it at on here? It, uh, I don't know if you can, you probably can't read it, but it says right in there, first printing. And he just had stacks of these in the warehouse, I guess. That's what he had told me. Uh, and then, drink of destruction. Like I said, I about crapped my pants <laughs> when I saw these. And so, of course, that got us talking about horror movies and Brink Stevens and Debbie Rashawn and Tiffany Sheppis and you name it. Fred Olin Ray, you name it. And then little photos from like the tour that she did on it and a uh, note from her there. Just freaking awesome. So hopefully I uh, get to meet her again someday soon and definitely going to have to have her autograph those. So, I'll talk to you guys later.